there are people that have gone on before you, maybe not in the what you're an entrepreneur in, but business is it's basically business. So find someone that you can talk to to kind of get bounce ideas off of. <laughs>
trying to find a P. Oh, I like alliteration. <laughs> Patience, perseverance, and passion. You gotta be passionate about what you're doing as an entrepreneur. You have to have that passion because otherwise you will stop. But you have to be passionate about what you're trying to do. Okay, so everybody's discipline is different. Find the best discipline that works for you. Me, I like lists. So I make a list of things I want to do and sometimes I put dates on those things. So I have, this is what I need to do this week, this month, my goal for the year. So that kind of focuses me on, on what I need to do. So that's how, that's how I get my discipline. But it, it depends on you, who you are and how you get things to work. Some people like post-it notes. Some people put things on the calendar. It's just have your goal and put it, but I would say consistent something consistent, have a timeline on your goal. Don't just throw it out there and say it's gonna get done eventually. Have like, I wanna be here, I wanna do this by this time. However, however you're disciplined, whatever you do. And now you might have to move your deadline. You might have to move a deadline and that's, and that's okay too, but don't keep moving the deadline. Yeah, when I feel overwhelmed, you know, sometimes I just take a break. Sometimes I just have to break from it. I have to stop looking at it. I have to stop focusing on it. I go do something else. I go do something fun. But I, I do that because normally when I take a break and then I come back to it, I, I see things I didn't see before because I was frustrated and being being over, overwhelmed. Now, I don't want my breaks to last too, too long because doing that, you might just stop completely. But sometimes I just kind of pull back from it get myself back together and then come back to it maybe with a different perspective maybe it's something i need to realign maybe something i need to refocus maybe something that i need to change so change is good change is not bad but maybe there's something i just didn't see before that that has to be realigned i, I do a, a couple of things i do talk to people like before I mentioned you need to find a mentor or there's someone to talk to that has kind of gone down the route before, I'll talk to someone else to get their opinion. I'll go online to see, I mean, there's, other, there's so much stuff out there. There are so many things on social media now that I can just go kind of type it in and, and just kind of see how other people have done things. And then, like I said, sometimes I just need to just close my eyes and just step away completely. But eventually I will, I will come back. But sometimes it's just, you can see the answer like right there and, and you can see what, kind of where you wanna go, but sometimes you just have to step away, to step back in order to kind of to get to that end point. Wow, that's a good question. I would say be prepared. Um, Plan, plan that out. You're scaling up to the next level. I mean, you've already done something so far, so you use that, keep that as a foundation. But be prepared in your scaling up. Make sure you plan. You, you can't plan for every everything that could possibly happen, but be just, just as prepared as you can. And then go for it. What is time management? <laughs> I only need to sleep six hours a day. So the other, <laughs> the other time, I, I just try to fill it the best that I can <laughs> and take a couple of breaks. But I do, I do kind of try to relax on the weekends, just, just sometimes to spend with family and do things of that nature. But it's all about being prepared and, and kind of blocking things out have certain times to do certain things. Um, for me, and, and, and I've done this before, I mean, I get up at 4.30 in the morning, I go to the e-engineering job for nine hours. After the e-engineering job, I go to the e-entrepreneur job for four hours, well, entrepreneur stash educator, four to five hours, and then I sleep, and I only need six hours of sleep. <laughs> and then next day, I do it all over again. So I just kind of plot out everything that needs to be done. I 
Oh wow, that's that's a good question. <laughs> I don't know how I do that, but it just it just gets done. I just I, I don't know. I mean, during the week when I'm in the e engineering part of the job, I just focus on the engineering and try to be as productive as that. But when the engineering um, job is done, I don't focus on it anymore. I put all my energy into the educating and the entrepreneurship, and I focus on that to make it in the in that time and only focus on that. And then we, we go ahead and do it all over again. Um, the weekends, um, I usually try to rest, but normally the weekends are for the education and the entrepreneurship. Um, so I put a lot of time and I don't think anything all about the engineering part of the job. So that's the only way that I can see that it works for me. <laughs> And all the only main encouragement I have is if you have the idea, if you have the passion, if you have the thought, if you have the spark, go for it. I mean, we need a lot of women out there in these entrepreneurship roles and we cannot be afraid to take advantage of that and, and go for what we want to do.